Hey, hey, ladies, gentlemen, all of my Facebook friends. Hello, hello, hello. Um, sorry, I sound still sound a little bit terrible and scratchy voice, but I hope y'all can understand me. So today's Tuesday. Today is the day that I was supposed to do my lives with y'all ladies on here, but do want to kind of try to give my voice a little bit of a break. Um, so I decided I would just hop on and share a quick tip with y'all. Um, with using chalk. Hey, Miss Charlene. So as you hop on, comment, tell me hello, and let me know after I show you this. Hey, Carol. After I show you this, y'all let me know if you knew this. So it's very, 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 very cool, y'all. So being a door hanger maker, a lot of times you see us, we will use chalk. Now this is only because this is only for the Crayola chalk because I don't use anything else. So I can only say this about the Crayola chalk. Hey, Miss Pam. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Dale. Hey, Denise. Um, so if you're using any other brand, I cannot say that it will work for this or not. So, but you, you've probably seen several door hanger makers using chalk to do their outlines to know where they need to paint their their design inside designs at. And then you've probably also seen a lot of them sitting there trying to wipe the chalk off with baby wipe. I'm definitely one of those because I, I still do that even after knowing this tip. I still do that. But did you know that you did not have to wipe? Hey, Wanda. Hey, Lena. Hey, Erica. Miss Pam. Did you know, Miss Rebecca, do you know you don't have to wipe it off? That you can just use your gloss to spray, after you spray your door hanger? It would kind of like magically make that chalk line just disappear. I know, Miss Teresa. That's why I'm trying. <laughs> hey, Michelle. Hey, Tanya. So I'm going to show y'all really quick. I'm going to just flip my camera away. Hey, Miss Regina. <clears throat> Where and how can I find the template from last year's live? The bunny. Amanda, what template? I'm not sure. I think I've seen your message. And I've got to look and see exactly when I... <coughs> see, when I did that template... <clears throat> Thank you, Michelle, for sprinkling. I appreciate that, girl. Hey, Natalie. Um... <clears throat> I'm not sure if we if I did that template as a freebie or if I did that template as a um a challenge. So, hey Teresa, and y'all my voice it goes in and out, in and out, in and out. Y'all might talk to me in 30 minutes and I sound kind of fine. Then 30 minutes later it's like this again. But anyway, so here we go. I'm going to flip y'all around. So here's a door hanger here. I'm going to try to get close so y'all can still hear me. You can take your chalk now, don't take this chalk and, like, press it really hard when you're doing this. But you could take the chalk and you could just do, like, little lines. Um, so that would have been, like, where you would, like, wanted your paint at. And a lot of times we would come and we would try to erase these lines with baby wipes. <clears throat> um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the spray. And all you do is you just spray over that chalk, y'all. And watch how that magically just disappears from off of your door hanger. I mean, it literally just takes it away. I mean, we put a mark up here with our chalk. And again, this is Crayola chalk. And you see, it just takes it. It just takes it away, ladies. See there? And it doesn't come back through. Hey, so... Instead of taking a baby wipe and trying to wipe it off, because I see my friend Tamara was selling her ornaments. She was doing on um, that cute zebra Easter egg, <coughs> and she was trying to wipe her chalk. And I was, I was like, no, you don't have to wipe it off. Just you know, once you spray it, it magically make it disappear. So that's all you've got to do. <coughs> yeah, it is amazing, Miss Sandy. <coughs> now I wasn't this. I wasn't this bad until I come live. <laughs> So, um, and I was like, you know, oh yeah, it just magically makes it disappear. <clears throat> but again, y'all, this is Crayola chalk. I can't say that this will work for all the other chalks, but I know it works for Crayola. Yes. But that's, you know, you so a lot of times when you get your baby wipe and you're trying to wipe your chalk, you're taking a big chance on your paint not being completely dry. So then you might like get, hit your paint a little bit. Then you have to try to fix that and wipe that off. So this way, you don't even have to worry about that. But when you're doing it, just don't like grind it down. Um, 
Because I can't say it would work if you sat there and you like really press down hard with your chalk. But putting a line on there for you to see, you should be good to go. It should just take it right off. Hey, Miss, <clears throat> hey, Miss Tammy. Hey, Danielle. All right, ladies, so I'm going to hop off of here. Hey, Miss Mary Jane and Nancy. I hope y'all have enjoyed this tip. Sprinkle the love for me so everybody else can know this good little tip. And um, <clears throat> maybe I can see y'all on here again one day this week. All right, we'll talk to y'all later.